My name is Diane Cowan, and I'm the Executive Director of the Lobster Conservancy, and we're in the state of lobsters, which is the state of Maine. We're a small nonprofit group, actually mostly volunteer. Uh, we have 120 volunteers. We started in 1996 in Harpswell, Maine, which is south of here. We're in Friendship now. And our volunteers work in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine, um, counting little lobsters. Some of them are the size of the nail on my littlest finger, so the size of a fingernail. And um, the big ones, when we catch a big one, it's like four or five inches long. That's kind of a giant for us to catch because we're looking in their nursery habitats and um, finding them when they're really small and following them as they grow up. We just pick them up, measure them, record data, and put them back. The way we protect them is through bigger things like legislation or um, fighting pesticides, that kind of thing. Making protecting their habitat is the way to protect is the way we protect them. We know where they live, we know what they need to keep living a good life, and we try to make sure they get to keep where they live healthy. There's actually the first um, bill that specifically protects lobster nurseries now is in the most eastern part of Maine, and the legislature just passed it. And then Harpswell, the town where we first started out, is the only town in the state that has an ordinance specifically prohibiting aerial spraying of pesticides, and that's to protect the lobster nurseries. So most of the things we do are really local, and having the state statute is kind of big. That's the first time we've been in a state piece of legislation. So it really is grassroots, and sometimes it's just at the town level. Um, these things are really fundamental and basic, and a town like Friendship, this is Friendship, Maine, and it's a small fishing village, and the whole community is completely dependent on this resource. This town would completely change. And it's been the way it is. It had. Friendship had its um, 200th birthday last year, and um, for 200 years, more than 200 years, that's what people have been doing here, they've been fishing. And we want to make sure, you know, that they have the lobsters to catch. And if you don't protect the lobsters themselves, it doesn't matter what the economy is, the guys are not going to do well. So that's the part we play in uh, making grassroots efforts to keep Maine strong. Um, two days. No lobsters yet, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, here's a big ball. And I don't think you should leave Maine without knowing something about lobsters. So let's get a couple here. Uh, one of these is a male and one's a female. So I'll tell you how to tell them apart. And you can have pictures of that. <laughs> They're private. I've, I've got the record on, so let's hope. Oh, it'll okay, take. great. Um, so this is a male lobster, and the male lobster. What most people do is flip them over and look at their first pair of swimmerettes. The male has hardened pleopods, hardened first pair of swimmerettes, and then her first pair of swimmerettes. They're in the same place, but you can see they're a lot softer and feathery. They're not hard and very keen sense of smell and they can smell underwater, and this is probably to a lobster for um, perceiving its world and getting along with other lobsters and so forth, the most important thing on the lobster here. What keeps me going is that I get to go out and um, do research on lobsters and find out things no else knows. I love, I love that. And I keep learning new things that I don't know, and as long as I keep doing that, I think I'll be happy. Ready, you get it on it's, on, it's on, it's on. I'll show you how to hold the lobster so it relaxes. Most people, if you just picked up one of these lobsters, it would probably flip and try to get away from you. But you'll learn. People who know their animals know how to handle them and get them to relax. And the way to hold it, look at this lobster, perfectly relaxed. And that's because I'm holding it, well, because I'm not afraid of it. Right, right. But also, I'm holding it beneath by its belly kind of, so it doesn't feel like it's dangling. So let me put it in your hand. And you can put another hand over it just for security. But look, that lobster's oh my. 
like the mess. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How did you get interested in lobster? Oh, um, I did a paper on them a long time ago when I was in uh, Christmas.